Yes, we are here at Disney Springs to try out one of the most popular options for gluten-free diners. This is Raglan Road. They are just about to open and we have an 11 o'clock dining reservation and we're going to take you along. Inside Raglan Road, this is the lobby decorated up for the holidays. It opened at 11 o'clock, both the, sh the shop and we just met some fabulous people who uh, took their RV here and they are now... Uh, going shopping, because they always go shopping. They're not getting food here this time, but we've eat, I have eaten, you've eaten here before, yeah? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, we've both eaten before, so the food's really good, so we're, we're looking forward to the options. So we'll tell you once we sit down, show you the menus, and um, yeah, get ready for a nice morning. I, I, this is during the day, they don't usually have the entertainment at this point, so it's really just going to be us having the meal, but when you come in the evenings, they do have dance, Irish dancers and Irish music, which if you want that kind of extra entertainment, is a whole lot of fun, just so you know. We are at Raglan Road, we have gotten Irish coffee for her and a hot toddy for me, and she's going to tell us what she thinks of it. Okay. Well, first of all, it's in a wine glass, so I can't, it's, it's weird, because it is a hot drink. I think you're going to want to stir it, but try it first. I'm going to get a mustache. Yay, whipped cream mustache. Ooh, it's lovely. It's not going to stay hot this way. I wonder why they served it this way. I don't know. Um, it needs to be stirred. Yeah. I didn't get any of the whiskey at all. See, if you look at the bottom, <laughs> this is what we tell you about Disney. If you don't get a straw, the whiskey, well, this one actually is Epcot. But you see, that's all the whiskey at the bottom, and then your coffee and your whipped cream. We're going to be classy stir. and stir it with a knife. Oh, but look how it mixes the milk in there. It was pretty. Yeah, well, it still is. You still got a little, like, butterbeer top on that, you know? Do, 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 do. Now we're Lunch. Lunch. Oh, there it is. I was waiting for the whiskey again. It's um very smooth. Yes, nice, smooth. Not a ton, so I'm not getting kicked, kicked in the head with whiskey. That would be painful. <laughs> We're now trying Irish coffee. It is warm but not hot to the touch. Now we can smell coffee because I can't do a whole lot of coffee either. Right. Now, personally, I would do a little more sweet into it because I'm a sweet tooth when it comes to coffee. Goes, right. Yeah. But it's nice. I like that. Yeah. I do like that. All right. So, we're going to try my hot toddy. Also, even with in being in this, it's not super, super. Thank you. Oh, I smelled the clove. If you can look on top, <laughs> clove stuck in a, lum, a lemon. That's kind of awesome. I probably do need sweetener as well for me because, again, I'm going to stir that in there, just in case. Oh, my lemon went upside down. Don't tell anyone. Nice solid whiskey to it. And the citrus is in there, but normally a really good hot toddy has honey in there. Um, there's none right now. So I do want to get the sweetener from them when they have a chance. But it's lovely, and she'll probably like it. She doesn't need things as sweet as me. But hot toddies do need to have that honey in them. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah it's that's lovely. Sweet. It is really good though. It's very good. And I, I, I like the whole lemon with cloves stuck in it. That's, yeah. that's, that's a nicer hot toddy than I do at home. Oh, <laughs> you know, with the cloves in it. It's true, it's true. So, there you go. The drinks are not super hot. They are warm, which is fine. Um, you know, especially for getting hot water at the bar to make the drinks is often a difficult thing. But you know, they have to drag it from point A to point B, but there you go. So they have a sourdough for regular people, but for us, they're going to heat up one of their uh, regular buns that they have. So it's going to be a bun, but we've got some beautiful butter. We love the beautiful butter. And uh, have some bread and butter. We have ordered um, the pull the box tea, which is a potato cake with ham and cheese sauce and stuff. It's an appetizer. Uh, we got a special soup they're doing right now, which is tomato and gin. We're not sure. Neither of us are great gin fans, but the woman said it was really, the gin helped mellow out the acidity in the tomato or something, so we're gonna give it a try. And then, because it is the classic, and I want you guys to see the classic items here, we're getting the gluten-free fish and chips. They had this risotto that looked amazing, so if we finish that, and we're hungry, we may look at the risotto. They also have a dessert we can have here, which is a chocolate mousse, and the waitress said it was quite good. So those are our options at the moment, but we're gonna sit back and enjoy some quiet moment here, and we will talk to you all soon. Pictures will go in right here, and flame is going to start. The soup, it appears um, like a creamy. 
tomato basil kind of thing, but it's not. It was uh, tomato and gin. So. Oh. Oh. So. So it's definitely that creamy tomato bisque. When they were saying that the gin cuts the um, bitterness of the tomatoes, so you definitely get the whole creamy. It's very creamy, almost like a cheese flavor. Okay, mm, right. I like it. Definitely. Not all. What, what all? I think is, that's I the ham hock on the top, with the onion gin, and then the, po the potato bakhti on the bottom. I think. Oh no, the potato cake is the middle. The ham is on the bottom, and then you've got that onion jam. And I'm trying to remember if those. I thought there were were. some cheese. What That's is this? That's it, probably. Cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Oh, okay. So I tried to get a little bit of everything. Hmm. Lots of flavors. Um, the onion jam is very sweet. The um, I thought it was a ham hock, but it um, looks more like pulled pork, but it tastes like sausage. Very confusing. <laughs> tastes very good nice potato cake, sort of um, mashed potato type consistency. Uh, lots and lots of different flavors there. That is lovely. Okay. All right. So we're going to try the soup first before she inhales it because she seemed to like it. So tomato gin soup. Ooh. You're right. It's like, you know, when you melt a lot of cheese into a tomato soup or in tomato, in tomato sauce before you put it on the pasta, they always taste like tomato sauce. Right. It's getting cold on the top, but when you get into the bowl itself, it's warm. Still has a little bit of the sourness of the tomato, but it's got a sweetness to it. Yeah, the gin is really good in there. I was surprised. That's awesome. All right, so now we're going to try the box tea. And she got all the onion jam on her side. And a little of the hamminess and the cheese sauciness and the messiness. Okay, here we go. So the microgreens that they throw on top are an odd extra flavor. Here we go. Um, the potato cake is again smooth and soft inside with a little bit of crunch on the outside. Um, the onion jam, I love the sweetness in that. The cheese sauce is not very salty, doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. I will also say most of the food is coming out lukewarm, not hot. Um, but it is very cold out, so I'm not sure if they're used to having to try to keep it warm in there. And the ham. And it's a shredded ham. It's not a salty ham like you would think of a cured ham, but it's good. So we're going to enjoy this and eat while it's still warm. I'm going to get to you when the fish and chips get to you. Hi. So we got the fish and chips, and we got so excited we cut them apart, cut it in half, and split it onto two pieces, two plates before we even got to you guys. So I'm sorry for that. Here are the pictures of the two plates. It's a huge piece of fish. Um, uh, we did get tartar sauce. It's not good for soy allergies, but we're okay with that. And then there's ketchup, uh, hopefully coming shortly for the fries. I've already started eating them, they're yummy. Fries. Um, and then we have the tartar sauce. Um, if you want to start, take some of that and go ahead and try it. And we'll see what she thinks. It's so nice to get um, fish and chips mm -hmm. here at Little Creek. Oh, uh huh. So crispy, so light and tender, so hot. <laughs> Eat fast. It's yeah. lovely. It's so nice. It's fried, yeah. I've been eating the fries, like I said, they're very good. They're best when they're fresh. They don't over salt them, but they are salty. And then I am going to grab some of the tartar sauce for me. Put on the plate here. And like you saw, it is it is an incredibly crisp, crunchy outside with some tartar sauce on it, which I love. Here we go. The batter is so light. It's good base of tartar sauce. Personally, for me, I'd even throw more pickle in it, but that's me. Oh, but it's lovely. It's lovely. Okay. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So we want to eat this while it's hot. We'll talk to you soon. This is a new cider that she has. Well, I've had it before. She has, and it is strawberry lime, and it is gluten free. Two flavors I enjoy. Oh. Isn't that dessert. nice? Yeah, it's fabulous. It's so bright and crisp. A lot of strawberry. I'm not noticing the lime right now. It's a hint of it, I think, to brighten it. It's, I don't. I to me, it was. A, it's more strawberry, but that's strawberry lime. Yeah. So maybe the lime is just the. It's just to fill it in, yeah. So nice. This is one of my favorites. I haven't had it. I only get it when I'm here. So, slancha. 
I like the smell of it. Now, if you guys have heard this before, I am not one for frozen strawberry, strawberry, cooked strawberry, don't like it, don't like the texture, etc. But for some reason, this, when it, especially on a hot day, bright and fresh, totally safe. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy this. It's just, it's a nice, bright option for you. All right, well, we're gonna finish. We're probably looking at dessert. We're not sure yet, but we're getting there. We'll tell you about it when we do it. Hi, we've got the chocolate caramel crunch dessert. So it's a big, it's a big dome ball, and I just want to go whomp. I'm making a sad face. Yeah. All right, so the picture of it will go right here. Spoon hanging. Um, all right, I won't do that. Thank you. Uh, hard bottom. Uh, uh, okay, maybe not eating. Uh, I think I got it. Okay. A little bit of caramel. Chocolate mousse. <laughs> Love the giggle. Extremely rich. Chocolate on chocolate. Some caramel. All right, I'll try a little bit of this crunchy stuff. Not very crunchy. Sort of like a chocolate cookie crumble. Very, very rich. Well, I'm glad we're sharing, but I'm not even sure we'll finish it as a sharing. She don't know me very well. All right, so I'm going to try it as well. Mm. It's kind of a chewy pull at the end. Dipping this in the caramel. Here we go. Okay. Cold, obviously. The chocolate layer on the top is more cocoa-y. It's not super sweet. The crumble is really sort of like, um... Oh, crunchy. Um... Like a mildly crunchy, like if you took an Oreo and crunched it up but softened it first. Um, nice and clean chocolate inside. I'm going to get you a picture of that as well. Um, caramel. It's not my favorite caramel. It tastes like um, a lot of butter and almost an edge of a burnt flavor, but not too bad. And then we've been talking about that lady. It's a good dessert, don't get me wrong. I will enjoy this. And, and for a gluten-free option, when you guys rarely get anything interesting, this is quite nice. Um, so we're gonna sit back and enjoy this with my strawberry cider that I have left. And when we get the bill, we'll show you what it's all about. So we got uh, three drinks, two appetizers, one entree, and a dessert, all together with a 10% off for our annual pass holder discount. Again, that is off of the food, but not the alcohol, took us to a total of 127. Do we again? Oh yeah. Yeah, this was this was a lovely meal, and there's so many more options on the menu. That risotto we were looking at that looked amazing. Um, just a whole lot of options that that you definitely would want to try. Um, it's we got here. The restaurant was empty because we opened it, and now every table is full and packed and filled with people eating. So. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. If this has helped you figure out how to eat gluten-free uh, when you're dining at Disney and, and traveling around the Orlando area, please give this a thumbs up and like the channel and subscribe to it so that you can get more content as it comes out. I do travel videos. I also do gluten-free dining reviews and uh, Disney Universal. You know, So if you're coming down here, I, I hope that I can become a good source for you. Um, uh, share this if you know people who are gluten-free, celiac, I consider that need some other options and want to know what's available if they come out here, just to give them a good idea. And, um, uh, uh, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?